Greetings, no coders. In this video, I'm going to be going through how to add Stripe billing to a bubble application using the ServiceBot plugin. Now, to get started, I'm going to be doing a demo of a bubble app I've already built just to give you an idea of what you can expect after implementing the ServiceBot plugin in bubble. We have here a freemium onboarding flow, meaning you sign up, you gain access to some free resources, a free part of the app, and when you're finally ready to get to the premium part of the app, you have to pay. So in this app, we have an upgrade button. It brings you to a plan picker where you can pick monthly, yearly to get access to the premium features. We're gonna enter a credit card in here, and our bubble application is going to know that this has happened and give me access to the premium resources, as you can see here. And the last part of this application that we're gonna be building is the billing section. So in the billing section, you're gonna see how much you're paying, you're gonna see your invoices, you can download them, you can update your credit card, you can actually add a coupon code if you've been given one, you can cancel your subscription, and you can change your plan to another tier if there are other tiers, or if there, you can change your to an annual plan if you so wish. Right. So now that I've shown you that, I'm going to be actually going through the process of building this using Bubble, Stripe Billing, and the ServiceBot plugin for Bubble. Right, so first step we're going to be doing is just going to be creating a brand new Bubble app. So we're going to call it Bubble Stripe ServiceBot Test. Uh, we're going to be selecting all these fields because Bubble requires them to be filled out. And then we're going to create a brand new app using the billing starter kit template. Now, if you have a bubble application already, uh, you don't have to use this template. You can, you can, I'll show you exactly how to set up the ServiceBot plugin. This is a template that comes with the ServiceBot plugin already installed and the database already configured and uh, basically exactly what I just showed you all pre-built out. Um, just a very boilerplate uh, bubble SaaS app uh, kind of already built out for you. That's the, uh, the billing starter kit template. Now, what I'm gonna be showing you first is kind of how, well, first off, let's go through the ServiceBot plugin. So what the ServiceBot plugin actually does is it creates five new bubble elements. So we have the ServiceBot invoice portal, the ServiceBot checkout, ServiceBot plan picker, ServiceBot pricing page, and the ServiceBot self-service portal. And those all correspond to, now I'm gonna pull up my ServiceBot account, right? You can create plan pickers, portal, pricing page, checkout, invoice portal. So basically you can create something in ServiceBot and then drag the proper element onto a page. And then, you would ba and then you're basically good to go at that point. You just drop in a, a, a billing page ID and it'll just load right up for you uh, with some small caveats that we're about to kind of go through. So. To start with, I'm going to show you how this database was configured. We configured this database to have the Stripe customer ID, basically, so we can know what you, this is the user table. So we have the Stripe customer ID, the Stripe subscription ID to represent the actual subscription in Stripe, the subscription status, which is like active, canceled, trialing, incomplete. There's a couple different statuses that Stripe uh, puts on their subscriptions that you can see in the Stripe API docs. And then finally, the subscription tier. Now this can be basic, premium, enterprise, you know, if you have like a three tier app, or it could be a one tier app, like in the example I just showed you, we only had a single premium tier, but uh, that's kind of to represent where you are in your subscription. Now, once you have those fields added to your database, we can get started actually hooking it up, uh, hooking up the billing part. So the billing magic happens on, on a, we're gonna create a new page, right? We're gonna call it billing. We're just, we're just gonna make a very basic page for this example. I'm just gonna create one called billing. And now let's actually set up our pricing and our, uh, we're, we're gonna set up our pricing in Stripe. So what I'm gonna do in my Stripe account, I'm just gonna create a new product and we're just gonna replicate that freemium model that I showed you. So we're gonna call it premium a new product. Now what ServiceBot does is it has this thing called, we need to have this thing called metadata on our Stripe products to let ServiceBot know what the service and tier, I'm sorry, I just pressed back. Uh, I'm gonna have to premium 
we're going to call this premium. We are going to add some, so we need to add metadata in order for ServiceBot to be aware of what, what, what's going on with like what tier that each price is for and what service it is. So the service is like kind of a high level of, if you have three tiers, they would all have the same service, but different tiers. So let me just show you. So SB service, we're going to be calling it um, freemium model. And then SB tier, you can also put spaces and stuff, it doesn't really matter. Uh, SB tier, we're gonna call this the premium because this is our premium tier. And if we had a, another tier, we would create another product, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's that. We're gonna create pricing, it's gonna be $50 per month, as well as we're gonna have a $500 per year for annual pricing. Just like in the example, it was 100,000, but you get the idea. We don't have to do any more metadata and that should be everything we need. We're gonna press save. All right, and now we're gonna open up our service bot. Now the, the, magic, the magic thing for freemium is this thing called the plan picker. If you're using freemium, you use plan picker. If you're using the free trial onboarding model or paid up front, usually you want either the checkout form or the pricing page. Pricing page is going to be on kind of your public public facing site. They pick their what tier they want and then they're prompted to either enter a credit card or put in their information so a free trial can get created. But for this example, we're going to be using the freemium onboarding strategy. So we're going to be using our plan picker. Now, we have here, you can see ServiceBot has pulled in the freemium model. We're going to plug, pull in that. So check freemium model. These are some options that you can configure. We don't, we're not going to really mess with any of these, except we want the customer portal to be shown for subscribers. So we're going to check that. That may, means, remember that billing page I showed you? This one? This, that's so your plan picker can both act as a plan picker and a subscription portal, so you don't need to create two separate pages for them. You just send your user to the same page, and whether they're subscribed or not, if they're subscribed, they'll see a place to manage the subscription. If they're not subscribed, they're gonna be prompted to subscribe. So you can obviously configure all kinds of stuff, like making, showing a picture, hiding specific tiers, if there's like a hidden tier, there's a just go through going through this. It's all very well documented, uh, and I think what we want to do all of this can be left as default. I believe we're just going to go ahead and click uh, the save button. So we're clicking save. We'll just leave everything as default, and then see here we have bubble as an embed option. We're going to click that, and the important thing here is just copy that code. Right. So now that we have that code. We're gonna go back into our bubble. We have this new page we've created. We've just created a plan picker. So I'm gonna drag that plan picker right in there. I'm gonna kind of center it a little bit. There we go. All right. So uh, now that the plan picker is in there, I'm going to see this section that says configuration JSON. That's where we paste that code I just copied. And uh, let's see, I think that's all well for if you're going to be using live mode uh, you need to set up this authentication hmac which I'm, I'll, I'll show you how to do that essentially the authentication hmac lets uh, logged in users be authenticated so it, it knows that they can access subscription data so this 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 comes from an external api which comes with the plugin this generate hmac and it just takes in the current user's email and a secret key, which you can actually get in your ServiceBot account by clicking, let me go back here. You click integrations and then boom, you grab that secret key and pull it right into there, paste it, oops, paste it in, paste it in there. And that's how that part is set up. You can leave handle response uh, blank. That's only needed if you have a really custom integration. Uh, so, I should be able to just now direct, whenever you direct someone to this billing page, they're gonna be uh, prompted to, you know, fill out that subscription stuff. So next step we're gonna do is actually show, set up the, uh, well, first let's demo this, right? So let me click, let me go back to index here, click preview. So it's not gonna be fully functional yet. So let me go ahead and sign up with a, real phony email 
Right, so this is gonna sign us up. We're gonna be on the free tier, meaning we don't have a subscription set up yet. And we're gonna get into the app and I'm gonna go to slash billing, which is that page I just created. Um, the, I haven't set up the links or anything to work yet. So once this thing loads, come on, bubble, do your thing. There we go. I'm gonna go to slash billing. And this is going to prompt me to subscribe. See, right? So I can go ahead and subscribe. Um, and then once I subscribe, it's, it would prompt me to, uh, well, let me test it. So theoretically, this isn't hooked up to any workflows or anything yet. So this isn't going to actually um, pull up. It's not gonna store it in the database, a bubble. But the way ServiceBot works is that it should still Exactly, right here. It, once you subscribe, you'll be prompted with a portal. And if I refresh the page, it should prompt me with the portal once more because I do it. Yeah, see? So that is all working, right? So we already have the subscription portal set up with, a, with the flow of if you already have a subscription, give you the, the management page. Now what we want to do is take it a step further and hook it up to the database. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to this billing page we just created and I'm gonna create a couple bubble workflows. Now, this ServiceBot plugin comes with these, um, each, each element, like each embed comes with a couple different, um, couple different workflows. Now, the one that we, we're really gonna be paying attention to is subscribes to a new subscription. Now, the others are really important too and I'll go through exactly what to do with those, but this is the one that lets you kind of um, make something happen after they click subscribe. So we're gonna just go ahead and say, when somebody subscribes, we are going to make some changes to that user. So the current user, we're gonna say, okay, customer ID, we pull in the, there we go. We're gonna just pull in all of these fields. So subscription ID, all, this plan picker will have all of this information that can be pulled into and make the database get edited. So we have subscription status, and last but not least, the tier, which is gonna be the premium tier we just created, and there. So that's all that, and then we can do something cool like redirect them to the dashboard. So we're gonna say, go to page dashboard, right? And now it'll redirect them, they'll be good to go. Let's see, and now let's go through the others. So we have here, um, here's some of the other ones. Like you have here, uh, whenever they cancel their subscription, uh, you can you know, set, set a field, what we can set a field to the subscription status to get updated. Um, and you can see all of the, if you wanna see all of them set up, you can open up the template. And then we have here, uh, you know, resubscribe will create a new subscription for them and reset all these fields. If they change their tier, we're actually gonna just change subscription tier. Uh, if they, oh, this is subscribe and resubscribe creates, uh, changes the status and the subscription aid because it creates a new subscription. I saw that wrong. And then cancel will change the subscription status. So if we go back to billing, so this is what we're gonna just start with just to show. Um, so let's go ahead and it should be uh, good to go. So let me show you how this dashboard page works. So the way we actually get this premium lessons thing work, this is all just dummy stuff. This isn't actually happening. This, this template just comes with a pretend SAS. You can do what you can have this, you can, oops, you can make like a feature or a specific page that's gated based on tier. But the, the point of this is to kind of show you how you would do that. So if you go click here, this is the hidden piece. And there's a conditional basically saying, if the subscription tier is premium and their subscription status is active, show the hidden stuff. And uh, that's kind of what you wanna be using is this database data. So if you look at the actual app data here, we can see um, these are the basically the subscription tiers which you're gonna be wanting to use. And now that we have everything hooked up, let me go ahead and show you. Let me log out. Uh, so let me go back to the home page here, the dashboard. Log out. I'm gonna take this from the top now that we've uh, gone ahead and implemented. I'm gonna just create a new user here. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and click up. Wait, no, we're not gonna, I'm sorry. This is the stuff that was already created. We're gonna to go to slash billing, which is the page we just created. 
So we're gonna go to slash billing. It's gonna say, okay, you need to do a premium. We're gonna select that. We're going to plug in our dummy credit card. We're gonna click confirm. And what it should do is it should create the subscription, update the bubble database to have all the subscription fields. And as you can see here, we can now see it. So that means it worked. So if I open up heat this database, refresh the page, you'll see a new entry with all the fields filled out. Yeah. So we have our new user, all of this stuff is filled out. You can utilize this however you want now. And the, what else did I wanna say? Oh yeah. And when we go back to slash billing, which is that page we just created, we will be presented with our subscription portal. Right. And uh, yeah, so that's essentially, in, at a, in a nutshell, how to use the service bot billing um, plugin for Bubble to get the this functionality, and you can you can you can use any of these embeds. Like if you wanted to have just a place for invoices, you would use the invoice portal. If you just care about the customer portal, like if you have a bunch of existing subscriptions in your Stripe account and you want to give your customers the ability to self-service them, or if you're creating subscriptions in a different way, you don't have to use ServiceBot to create the subscriptions. You can plug any subscription into ServiceBot using the customer portal, and they will get this nice this nice uh, subscription management UI. I'll, all out of the box, no development needed. So yeah, uh, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below in the, and I'd be happy to get back to you on it. Uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed and see you next video.